Um, so we're going to start off with start off with Haladrin's Keep by Big Shooter Gill, which won a design, and I believe it has a score of seventy one point five. Um, and the interesting about this is that he did not post any screens or anything of this, and it was kind of just released out of nowhere. Um, which is quite interesting. I don't know if you had a big release like that in a long time where it just kind of comes out of nowhere. But it's a... The uh, sit down, I believe. Yeah, speed up, sit down, kind of themed and in, um, into this terrain setting as a uh, European village, fantasy village around it. Um, Very green. That's kind of the one thing I. This part feels very old school, which uh, there's kind of been a trend lately. All these old school releases, which I don't know if I'm a fan of at all, but whatever. Um, kind of like the the cohesive theming and like, um, not just cohesive theming really, but the cohesive coloring and like the old school like architecture and park setup and stuff. Um, all this architecture is really fantastic, I think. Especially these buildings like up here, I really like. And then these buildings are pretty nice. Um, and the entrance ones are too. The bridges in this park actually are really nice too, these ones. And then this one up here is pretty cool. Definitely some nice water features. This is pretty fantastic waterfall. I don't know if you've seen a waterfall this good, maybe ever, but I like the coaster kind of uh, does a double barrel roll above it and below in front of the, the uh, waterfall there. The, uh, the river is very nicely done too. Lots of detail and stuff. It's very cool. Like how it runs through and so these little tiny waterfalls and stuff. Very nice 1K work and good use of these gray rocks. Usually I don't like the gray rocks. They look kind of silly, but they are very well implemented here. This is very nicely done. Um, probably the worst thing is the layout, although it's kind of hard to say that's really all that bad just because you know, it works pretty well with the terrain. This is kind of awkward, I guess. I mean, the first drop is just this long straight piece. Yeah. Into this loop and then kind of goes to this odd element. Um, and overall, it's very nice. Colors are kind of odd, too. Yeah, I guess he's trying to do some sort of fire theme, I guess, because the later night believe is like one of a roaming god or something i don't know maybe something like that i don't know um I mean, all these buildings are very nice i, I like the, the architecture in this park i like it a lot more than actually his other full-size park that he's working on on the foliage is also really really nice especially up here good use of these newer trees and stuff. Um, this is probably the weakest ride. I'd say the architecture around here is kind of flat. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the colors because it's kind of a different color skin than every, everything else. Oh, uh, because these, these buildings are very nice. So that there's this one which kind of stands out like uh, I guess, but... Um, this is a cool building, and I like the uh, the drop tower. Oh, it doesn't really work, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, kind of wish she would have gotten that to work correctly, but
Um, this is definitely very deserving of the score it got. Maybe a little bit low in my opinion. I mean, it's 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 very well done. It's unique, at least for recent times. Probably put these colors back to the way it was. Um, it has a very tur turtle esque feel to it, in my opinion, with all these this terrain, like these steep cliffs and all these buildings on the side and kind of the way the coaster goes on the terrain. And kind of the integration of the foliage with the terrain and all looks very nice. Um, but the architecture is enough of his own style. It's kind of a mix of a lot of different people, but it's, it's enough of his own style to where you don't really feel like it's um, I do like the this kind of the ender ender ending section um, with the interlocking corkscrews or over the over the uh, the midway here kind of um, I believe there's yeah there's an underground bit right here is under the uh, Under the um, little hill, the coaster. People actually ride it. I actually really like this station too. Uh, maybe not the biggest fan of this brown textureless floor, but it's not that bad. I mean, first I instantly thought it was turtle. I mean, it reminds me a lot of Corsair Viridian, just kind of like the colors, lots of brown and green. Um, it's kind of like it's massive terrain, not quite as extreme as turtle, but overall a pretty nice design, a good surprise. I mean, nobody really expected this, except for probably the people who, who helped them with it. Um, I actually really like this carousel too. I like the uh, the vines around it. It's kind of cool. Now it's kind of in between these two little buildings. Um, Um, yeah, this is, I actually I quite like this. I mean, I like these little details, like these docks, these little boats. It's pretty cool. I don't know if this is really themed to some specific, if there's some specific influence or if it's kind of just all of a creative, but and the buildings are great. Um, a lot of stuff to like, a lot of little details that, you know, you don't really see the first time you come back and notice. This building is really fantastic too. I mean, you don't really, there's so much stuff you don't really see it all the first time. But yeah, overall very solid, very solid. I'm interested to see what he does next. Um, these little cutaways are nice too. Rather than just having them in our underground. I think there's a little bit more detail and stuff. Um,
The only thing I kind of wish that maybe he'd vary up his color scheme a little bit more. I mean, it, I guess it's kind of fitting for this. I and mean, he does that enough to where it's not like all the same color. But. I mean, the caves are fine to me. I don't know how much more you would really add. I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe he would plan on adding more detail in it, but I think they look fine, clean. Def definitely contrasting to the rest of the park, which is lots of detail. Um, but yeah. No, there, there's no, this is not close to object limit. It's pretty impossible to hit an object limit on such a small path. Or such a small path, such a small map. Yeah, solid design. I'm interested to see how he improves from this.